hey guys and welcome back to my channel welcome to another video my name is Michaela and I make vlogs and yeah so today is April 5th and I only know that because my computer's in front of me um, it's Sunday I watched online church I have just got off Bible study not too long ago um, with my Bible study group we um, did a zoom and now I'm sitting down and I'm gonna finish up the final touches on my parent email that's gonna get sent out in just a little bit. Um, I'm trying to, so this will be our, well, first full week, but like week and a half, cause we started on Wednesday, April 1st, um, for virtual distance learning, whatever. And so I'm trying to like, after three days of like, having my mind wrapped around it i am going i'm trying to figure out like what i want that to look like and i'm like i have stated in like previous um vlogs i'm not teaching them anything new so it's going to be like strictly social emotional connection and review and honestly just like being with them um so i have my planner set out not like I have anything to do but like just scheduling because we have faculty meetings um, on Zoom obviously I have my small group girls I have to Zoom with I have PLC with my grade level that I have to Zoom with so then I need to plan out when I'm gonna Zoom with my kids and so I have my planner out I'm gonna try to write stuff out um, so yeah so I'm just like sitting here in this like little makeshift office with the coffee table um, I put on makeup just so I feel productive. Um, I just have like eyeliner and mascara on, nothing too crazy. And I'll show you what I'm doing. So I got this. This is a freebie and I'll try to remember to link it down below if you are a teacher or just like interested in it. But I think I got this from, oh I can't remember, maybe, oh this is right here. Hello Fifth. So it's a freebie um and it just says the schedule and like she has things on here that like mini lesson monday talented tuesday wild card wednesday but i don't know i i don't know if i want to do just like let's meet on monday and we'll like review math for a little bit math facts or you know let's meet on wednesday and these are like totally optional everything we're doing like we have been you know just like reminded so many times that every single thing that we are doing is optional like if i get on on monday at, on a zoom call and only like two of my kids are there i'm gonna talk chat hang out with my kids and then like that's that like nobody is obligated now obviously a lot more of my kids um we're very fortunate to have technology um but anyways i'm just trying to like brain dump everything and wrap my head around it because I'm not gonna lie it's like super stressful because it's just so different and I'm not used to like zooming like it's just out of my comfort zone to like meet with my kids through zoom like the concept of that so and obviously I thought that I would be teaching whole new things but now it's just review so it's like do I want to do cahoots I made a padlet so any suggestions if you're a teacher I know that there's some of my teacher friends on here link or leave a comment down below but yeah i think i'm gonna facetime one of my um co-workers and see like what she's doing but okay so i have been working for like an hour or two called my co-worker tried to like figure it out i'm gonna end up doing three zoom meetings a week with my kids and then i made a padlet um that we're gonna do discussions on on tuesdays and thursdays and then I just kind of like wrote it all in my planner just so I would like feel better about it and then yeah so I sent out like a mass email to all of my parents with just a whole bunch of bullet points because I haven't talked to them and yeah me and baby went and got a package don't worry I actually received this package on like Monday and just because I'm like super crazy about germs and stuff I left it sitting there for a while because I did not want it to like have germs on it and then I Lysoled it. So I'm gonna show you because I'm really excited about this pack. Um, a couple weeks ago, I had a like book publishing company reach out to me and they wanted to send me some of these books or actually they let me pick which books. And so I got these like totally not even like knowing 
like forcing what was happening and everything and so I just picked the title of some books and they finally came in and I'm super excited for, about it so thank you so so much and I we are going to do read alouds and I'll show you in the video um read alouds with these books at some point BB are you good okay anyways um so I got three books the first one is help your dragon with a deal with anxiety so it's all about like help your dragon deal with it not like help you but like help your dragon so it looks like this these are all by um Steve Herman and so this will be a fun one to read um teach your dragon about diversity and then the last one is help your dragon deal with change and this is like so perfect I couldn't even like I didn't even know this was going to be happening but this is a perfect book to read to the kids so I'm really excited to share this with my kiddos and they're going to love it and I can't wait to add this to my classroom collection so thank you so much for these books I'm going to leave all the um, links down below the website I they're super inexpensive books and I definitely recommend them so hey guys and happy easter yes i got completely like ready even curled my hair um to do absolutely nothing it's the afternoon um it's easter so um yeah so i woke up i have my sleep schedule has been so off i woke up watched um the easter service that my church did online it was amazing um and then i have just been chilling i like made myself lunch i have stuff to make like a big easter dinner because i just want that but i don't know i woke up and wasn't really feeling cooking because i was extremely tired so i haven't made anything yet um i like had pizza earlier but um so i don't know if i'll wait and make it tomorrow or if i'll make it tonight i don't know but i am i do want to take like an easter picture i'm also going to shoot some stuff i did go to the boutique well no one was there um i wiped down everything all that good stuff but um i have like new stuff to shoot and like that hat this has been kind of like my little makeshift like area where i've been keeping clothes and stuff so i'm going to see if i can't get a few pieces shot so i can have some stuff to post tomorrow and yeah i'm gonna force him to where's he at there he is i'm gonna force him to take easter pictures with me so he's gonna hate me but it is what it is i'm all alone he has to okay so i just got done shooting two different outfits like taking pictures did some tiktoks in it um post on my instagram go follow my instagram like my picture but i just wanted to show you guys a few of the pieces from southern blue boutique which is the store that i manage there's going to be a link and a coupon code down below so go check it out but this first one um super cute i took pictures and wore this because this would just be such a good easter dress if you know we're, we were allowed to leave um but i love the detailing in the front of it and this one is 33 dollars, which is not bad at all so this i wore i wear a size small and then Sorry, you can like only see like half of me um i paired this outfit together we actually saw this at market um from one of the vendors it was set up like this and i just loved it together this sweatshirt or this sweater is just like super holy so it's very very light and it just reminds me of like something you would like throw on to like go to the beach at night or something like that and then these shorts are just super cute super comfortable let me see if i can find the tags for them let's see uh these shorts are 34 dollars, and the sweater is 40 so i got a medium large in the sweater so i could tie it in the front and it was like oversized and baggy and then i just had a small so i'll post like a picture of me wearing it right here but yeah link down below coupon code down below so it is 6 30 the day has honestly gone by so quickly because my sleep schedule i've already said is completely out of whack so i have been staying up for forever um i like stay up until two or three watching oh yeah i have to say 
I started Vampire Diaries. I don't know why I was so against Vampire Diaries and like starting it, but finally I gave in and y'all I'm so obsessed. I will say it took me like six or seven episodes because it was just like boring to me in the front. It just reminded me a lot of Twilight. It felt like Twilight all over again, but it's not. Um, and so anyways, I'm super duper obsessed. I'm on, I'm in the middle of season two. Um, so yeah, I am completely obsessed with it. So I've been staying up until like two or three in the morning watching that. And then my body still wakes me up at like six or seven. So then like I get up and I'll go eat breakfast and then I get back in bed, like take like a morning nap and then I'll go eat breakfast or do something and then take another nap so my day just consists of a bunch of different naps um not really sleeping at night so quarantine has me all messed up we are now going into the fifth week today is Sunday Easter um so this will be my fifth week going into quarantine this week this past week was a lot better than the previous one so uh I'm still doing being able to do my therapy on the phone just like updating you guys on a little thing because that's all I have to do because I can't film anything because I don't do anything anyways I am still getting to meet with my therapist just over the phone so I actually have one in a few days um we've been trying to do like every week or so so it's really good for me to still be able to talk to her and still do my sessions um just over the phone obviously i wish it could be in person but that's just not an option right now um so yeah i don't leave my house unless it is to go to get food um i haven't seen my family in forever so i'm definitely missing my nephew so much i miss my siblings so much but i'm just trying to be in a positive headspace i am about to sit down and work on a parent newsletter i'm still sending those out every week still staying in communication with my kids we zoom three times a week um so that's really awesome to get to see them and still get to like have some kind of normalcy of like still talking to them as normal as it can be um and so yeah so right now our school is still sticking to the date of uh all april 24th or something but so all the schools around us pretty much have shut down in like bordering states and stuff for the year so it is what it is but we don't have any new news on that um but yeah me and bb you can see him right there um uh we are just hanging and yeah let me know what y'all want to see like i'm gonna i cooked in the last vlog and i originally was going to cook the easter dinner but i just i'm not really hungry so i'm not gonna like waste food um but yeah so let me know like what y'all want to see this is kind of a weird time for me to like create content but all my podcast stuff will be down below follow me on instagram follow me on tiktok because i have a lot of fun making those but yeah i love you guys and i will talk to you in the next video oh um if y'all want to zoom we can set up a zoom account i've been doing zooms with like random influencers who will put the code in and last night i was on a four hour zoom with like 15 people that i had no idea who they were so um that's the level of boredom we're at but anyways now i love you guys and i will see you in the next video